The people here are evacuated and safe for the moment. Pawns are oft called nomads, for we wander between this world and the many other realms with which we are connected. I am no exception, and my experiences in these other worlds will doubtless be of aid to you on your adventure. Tis my privilege to accompany you as your loyal pawn, and I will gladly use the knowledge I gain to guide you. Well, I'll be a pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fie, this is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. What? You've no memories, you say? Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Hail, Arisen. Pray, ask aught you wish to know. I shall answer, if tis within my power to do so. Nomads, we are oft called. Born in other worlds, we travel here by means of the rift stones that we might aid you, Arisen. However, I cannot speak as to our true nature, for I know of it not. None of us do. We do not need to. We merely do as we are commanded. Riftstones are gates that connect this world to a multitude of others. By their power have we crossed into this world. And when our mission is done, by their power shall we return to our own. Tis the name given to fates chosen, those destined to command the Pawn Legion and safeguard the world from the threat of the dragon. Even with your memories lost to you, I am afraid you cannot escape your fate. Very well. May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. Shall we discuss tactics now or later? It is a pleasure to meet you. If we share our strengths, 
we can begin formulating a strategy that caters to our respective skills. If I learn of a matter that requires your attention, I shall inform you directly. Should have taken this shit. A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? There's a ladder here. Ah, excellent find. plane at Arisen in search of preferable treatment, you'll be sorry. Your head is like to roll ere long. Well met. Fancy a gander? I find goods for sale. Always a pleasure. Fancy agenda? I find goods for sale. Must have taken a wrong turn. What ruins your day like getting cut open? First, assess the field, then act accordingly. You summoned a pawn. What manner of trick did you employ? Here in Vermont, pawns are revered as servants of the Arisen, but not so here in Batal. There, they believe that some divine flame will protect them and dispel the dragon, and that pawns embody misfortune. In that regard, our countries couldn't be more different. What did he say his name was again? Ah, Humphrey. The lad's in Vermouth now. He's eager. I'll give him that. 
Expedition, sword drills. Say the word and he'll join in at a moment's notice. Say, you look experienced. You should talk to the lad. I'm sure he'll be glad of a bit of guidance. Begging your pardon, sir, but I'm on duty. Having more of these to hand ought serve us well in battle. Let us take care when and how we put them to use. of every ilk. Hope to see you again ere long. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeep understands. Gold is a resource best spent judiciously. Well met. Well met. Always a pleasure. Or to polish up my gear for tomorrow. Mayhap this ladder is here for. Hoy there! You seem well tired. Tell you what, you can stay here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow, mind. My pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid, but you'll find all sorts at a finer inn. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still, tis worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors, it does. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've much more to offer. We must rest, though the sun is still up. Where to now? Sometimes I wonder if I'm hot. I've beds to spare if you're looking for lodgings, and if you'd like to change your vocation, come see me any time.
Do come again. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrills to gathering items. I am confident and may act independently. I've beds to spare if you're looking for lodgings. And if you'd like to change your vocation, come see me anytime. Always a pleasure. I'd hasten home, were this not my duty. Must hold out. Fine goods for sale. Hey, oh, you a soldier? It would be a surprise to see you arrive in one piece if not. Hordes of monsters have been plaguing this area of late, you see. We've had to start sending out new recruits to cull them. Is that so? Who went yonder? Lachlan. But I dare say he'll fare all right. Aye, I expect he will. Who was sent out that way, then? Accardo. To be honest, sir, I'm a little worried for him. What? Weren't harpies reported in that area? The lad can't handle those beasts on his own. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Fie! I want to go to his aid, but we can't just abandon our posts. Say, you seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? It isn't far, only a short ways out from the main gate. You've my thanks. Anacardo's as well, I'm sure. We must fly to the aid of those in need. Must hold out. Someone comes to the lead. We 
we are none of us alike in vocation. One should think we'll be able to counter whatever comes our way. Let us utilize our individual strengths wherever possible. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? One can never have too many materials. I'll harvest some now. A common reward. Frustratingly so. We cannot expect gleaming treasures round every corner. Met no foes for some time, but tis all the more reason for us to be on our guard. If we seek monsters, we shall doubtless find them ere long.
Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. We must not let down our guard. There I see it. We trounced our foe well and true. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. This is generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. As a matter of fact, curious thing, one of my former masters chose to hire only women. I wonder why. Each to their own. All of them. You, you have my thanks. I do not believe for a moment I could have slain those creatures without your help. I've only just enlisted, and when I thought this could be the end of me, I, I was paralyzed. You saved me this time, but I won't always be so fortunate. I'll have to train harder till I have the confidence to face such beasts on my own. Well, I'd best be heading back, but I'll be sure to let my superiors know of your good deed. I hope we meet again someday. Making our report ought to be our next priority.
Hey, old friend. Many thanks for aiding Ocado. Twas a relief to see him return, and none the worse for wear. Aye, that it was. The poor sod might not have made it back alive had you not intervened. Twas a bit too early for him to be seeing actual combat. That much was made well clear. We'll be extending his training period. The instructors here are well known for whipping recruits into shape with their grueling regimes. Ha! <laughs> Speaking of training regimes, I must admit I've half a mind to ask you to join us. We could use someone with your experience. We have succeeded in defending our charge. A sign of good things to come, mayhap. One could not have hoped for a gladder outcome. I've beds to spare if you're looking for lodgings. And if you'd like to change your vocation, come see me any time. Always a pleasure. Going on. I've beds to spare if you're looking for lodgings, and if you'd like to change your vocation, come see me any time.
A good sleep will ensure we are prepared for the morrow.